Well, going back to work. I, uh, I, go, to, I go home during lunch and I feed the animals. And uh, the dogs, they weren't there when I got home. Usually they'll, they'll greet me at the, at the walkway. Hey, how you doing? We're glad to see you. And we haven't seen you in 25 years or something like that. Whatever dogs say, I don't really know. But they, uh, they weren't there. So I was like, okay. Well, went out to their, their favorite trees where they hang out usually, looking for the chipmunks. Not there. So I walked out into the backyard, and I'm just starting to get nervous. I'm thinking, well, this experiment has been working pretty good for the past couple of months because they've been, uh, you know, I've been on using the electric collars, and they've been staying on the property. So I've been feeling pretty confident about it, actually. So I had that first glimmer of fear, thinking, oh boy, you know, these guys take off and they're up on the side of the mountain or who the heck knows where. And all of a sudden I see a little head pop up out of the, uh, the bushes right behind the garage. And I see it again. So Toby's back there. So I figured wherever Toby is, probably where Ted is. And I went out there. But sure enough, they've got something cornered in the drainage pipe that comes out of the garage. Probably a, a chipmunk. So... I said hi to him, and that was probably about it. Ted looked up real quick, and then he went back to business again. So I went inside the house, made myself lunch. And usually, uh, you know, when, when lunchtime comes, the boys will come in, and then I'll give them a half a slice of ham or whatever. So eventually they came in, got their piece of ham, and headed back out again. It was actually kind of funny. But if you're a chipmunk and you're on our property... It's not going to end well for you. I mean, there, there should be like little chipmunk posters out there going, don't go this way. This will not end well for either one of the two halves that cut you into. 